In Boulder tonight, City Council there could discuss one of several proposed changes to the regulation and sale of e-cigarettes. The changes are aimed at curbing teen use, especially at the high school and middle school age. Connor McHugh at a rally in support of those changes today. And Connor, what is being proposed and then what happens next? Well, Karen, there are three different proposals which would change and regulate e-cigarette use in a number of different ways here in Boulder. And while City Council could discuss one of those tonight, it could be several weeks before they take any action on any of them. Take away. On Tuesday morning, a group of Boulderites pleaded for changes. The city of Boulder has a problem. The focus, e-cigarettes and vaping. 33% of Boulder County High School students currently vape. A topic Marilyn Holmes never thought she'd have to broach with her 12-year-old. Friends and or friends of friends are talking about vaping and talking about experimenting with it. So from the moment he entered junior high, there was a lot of talk and, and experimenting with it. Holmes and many others support new regulations that include a 40% tax on e-cigarette products, a ban of all flavors, and raising the legal age of purchase to 21. This isn't theoretical. This is actually hard science that demonstrates that actually for every 10% of an increase in the price of the product, we could expect a decrease in youth use and initiation by a 7%. In response, Boulder Vapor House is cutting prices on flavored products. It is completely about awareness of what is going on. Owner Ginger Tanner says she supports reasonably raising taxes in the age limit, but a flavored product ban will shut out legal customers and not help the overall problem. If there is no enforcement like there currently is within the city limits, that this problem, even with any ban of flavors, with going 21 and over, is going to continue. Ultimately, it's all up to Boulder City Council, which could be the first in Colorado to make such restrictive changes. Now, the tax increase is what they could discuss tonight, but again, a vote is not scheduled for several weeks. As for the other two proposals, those are scheduled for mid-September. We are live tonight in Boulder. Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you.